And welcome back to Midday, everybody. Glad you are watching on a Thursday. So I'm all dressed up, Jared, because we got our vaccines, our COVID-19 vaccines on Good Things Utah, and we wanted to celebrate. But I also want to celebrate that today is a big day for Make-A-Wish, so maybe I dressed up for two reasons. <laughs> Kicking off a huge drive that's happening this month. Yeah, I'm really excited about the month of April because we're doing, we, we call it the Drive for Wishes campaign. And it starts today. We unveil the car. Uh, we've teamed up with Strong Auto Group who've donated a Volkswagen Atlas to us. And we have over 41 sponsors that are on that car. And the whole intent is we're gonna, we're not gonna wait for hope. We're gonna bring it to communities. We're gonna bring it to Wish Kids. And so throughout the month of April, we're traveling around the state. We're stopping in communities. We're showcasing the kids where those communities can stand up and really support them. Uh, knowing that there's a child that has a critical illness right there in their area. And then um, with that, we're actually, we're granting wishes. So throughout the month of April, follow that wish car. You can join us online, utah.wish.org. You can see where that car is, but if you're seeing it drive down the road, you know that there's something magical that's gonna happen. There's, it's on its way to do something that's gonna be different. It's gonna bring hope to a kid who needs some hope and, uh, and their wish is gonna come true. How many months ago did I pose by that car in St. George? You know, that was almost 18 months ago. Was it really? Yeah, it was. And since then, wishes are still happening. I bet you get asked that all the time. I mean, we're coming out of this pandemic, but during the pandemic, wishes went on the entire time? They did. So people thought that maybe we'd stop granting wishes mm -hmm. because travel wishes were the majority of what the wish requests were. But we're right now, we're granting about four wishes per week here, just here in Utah. So wishes have never stopped. Kids are continue to get sick. They continue to need hope. Um, it's not the same because maybe they asked for a, a Disney trip or something not else. Not happening right now. Yes, but right now we're granting. So we've got a wish right now that that's really cool. We have what two, is it? two twins, four year old, that um, they both have leukemia. And, uh, and their wish is for a pathway along their backyard so they can ride their trikes together. Like what an amazing wish. The simplest things that bring them so much joy. Talk about the power of that wish coming true for them. What does that do? Yeah, we know that there's actually medical evidence that would suggest this, um, that when a child receives a wish, they have an entirely different medical journey. You know, they're most likely to stick to their treatment regimens. They're, um, they spend fewer days in the hospital and that hope really does build within them and, uh, and it gives them the power to look beyond the four walls of a hospital room and say, what if? Let's give them something to work for. Let's give them something to hope for. And, and their overall mental and physical health improves when they receive a wish. We should tell everyone too, the cost of wishes just keeps going up. Yeah, you know, doing local wishes, doing wishes um, here in our community where we're not doing travel, it means our, our costs have escalated. And that's why this Drive for Wishes campaign is so important because one of the initiatives is we're raising money. We're going to these communities and our goal is to raise enough money to grant 40 wishes. All right, let's talk to our viewers. How do they help? You know, go on to utah.wish.org. There's ways you can donate. You, there's ways you can participate. We've got our Wish Hero campaign where people can um, raise money from their peers, family members, neighbors, whatever it might be. There's so many ways you can participate, but go into our website and you can learn more. And it's right there on your screen, everybody, utah.wish.org or on our website at abc4.com slash midday. I'm Jared Perry, the president and CEO of Make-A-Wish. Thank you so much for stopping by. Good hey, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Good to it. see you. Brian, over to you. Uh, thank you, Nisha. Coming up on Midday.